This is an exclusive Debka file video production. On July 27th, just before Friday prayers, Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei summoned top Iranian military chiefs for what he called their last war council. Deb Kafal's exclusive sources disclosed that he told the gathering, we will be at war within weeks. Each of the participants was tapped to report on the readiness of his branch or sector for shouldering its contingency missions. Retaliation was high on the agenda, but defense was higher, starting with the biggest fortification project in Iran's history for the protection of its nuclear program. Rocks are being gathered from afar, piled on nuclear installations covered with many tons of poured concrete, and finally plated with steel. The strength and thickness of this armor plating are designed to hold up against U.S. and Israeli aerial and missile bombardment. That same Friday, the U.S. Air Force unveiled its new massive ordnance penetrators. Each bunker buster weighs 30,000 pounds and can penetrate 60 feet of reinforced concrete. In weighing retaliation, the War Council endorsed a battery of paybacks for potential U.S. and or Israeli preemptive strikes against its nuclear program. They would start by announcing enhanced uranium enrichment up to 60 percent, and that is close to weapons grade. Ballistic missiles would be loosed against Israel, Saudi Arabia, and American Middle East and Gulf military installations. Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas and Jihad Islami in Gaza are to pitch in against Israel. Saudi oil export terminals would be blown up in mines sown in the Strait of Hormuz to impede the export of one-fifth of the world's oil. Khamenei put before his war council a timeline of weeks for the coming conflict, September or October. This has been an exclusive Debka file presentation.